Hey guys, it's Chris on the X, and welcome to another rendition of Quick Bits, the series where I basically look at a game that's either too big to review or that I don't have the time to make into a full fledged review. Plus, I do it as quickly as possible. This episode, we're gonna look at Freedom Planet. Now, since I recently got a Wii U, I heard about Freedom Planet and saw it on Wii U and thought, hey, maybe I could like it. I fucking love this game, man. I, I adore it. How does the story start off? Well, basically, an alien invader wants to end up taking a precious source of energy from the planet to help conquer the galaxy. He ends up killing, literally beheading one of the leaders and then brainwashing the prince. Who, by the way, is nowhere to be found after the whole thing. I don't even know what happened to him, actually. But, and it's up to Lilac, Carol, and then eventually joining you, character known as Mila, the adorable little fucker, to end up coming along and stopping this alien invader, helping this man, commander, alien thing called Torque, who disguises himself as a shell duck. Hey, I can dig it. Now how the game plays? It's basically Sonic the Hedgehog ROM hack, like S-Factor, for example, meets Rocket Knight Adventures. At least that's what happens when you play as Lilac. It turns out that Lilac and Carol are completely different, but I'll get to that right now with Lilac specifically. First off, Y for both characters anyway is to attack. X is a special attack, like for Ka Lilac, it is basically a big charging sort of thing. Like you can dash in the air and it'll help speed you up. There's also a double jump that Lilac has that's basically another attack. Whereas with Carol, X is just a big giant kick and a double jump for Carol is not really a double jump but more like a lunge of some sort. So it'll be a bit harder to get around with Carol. But once you pick up a gas tank, which is apparently lying around the area, you can actually ride a motorcycle as Carol and pretty much make, make, just get, just go a wall with driving around on a motorcycle, kicking others' asses, and going all fast and stuff. And as Carol, you can also you make use of red platforms to go around the area. You can you gotta collect crystals. You collect also special green orbs with red middles in them to unlock special bonus things where you hit a die and you can get a new shield. There's a quite a variety of shields. They actually have some sort of effect that I haven't figured out yet, or something else. Now, you can unlock Mila, 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 Mafa, Mila, but uh, I haven't actually played as her yet, and I'm sure that she has her own abilities. I mean, during the story, she uh, does hold up a shield of some sort. Speaking of story, you can actually choose to play through an adventure mode, which mixes story and gameplay, or play classic mode, which is basically no story, just the levels. Similar to the classic Sonic games, which didn't really have any story elements really going on. Like for example, Sonic the Hedgehog, the only real story if you think about it, was the story cutscene in general, was uh, the end of, uh, the end of uh, Scrap Brain, not Scrap Brain, this is, yeah, Scrap Brain Zone Act 2, where you're dropped into Act 3, which is, you know, the whole thing. And all I can say is, Get this game! It's $14.99 on Steam and $14.99 on the Wii U. Even if you act like you don't have a Wii U, even if you end up for some reason boasting about it, you can get it on Steam. And from what I looked up, it runs well on my laptop with Intel HD graphics 4600, so I think it'll run just very well on your computer, so long as you also have a good processor, which most of you I'm sure do, and a good amount of RAM, which most of you I'm sure do. Seriously. If you love Sonic games, and by that I mean the classic Sonic games, get this game. If you enjoy games in general, get this game. I really love this game, and I really hope that you do too. This is Crazy on DX, and this has been an edition of Quick Bits.